It seems like AI is taking over the world. You can't go on any app without hearing about the million and one different use cases for AI. But when it comes to growing on social media and using AI to grow, you basically need to be some AI prompt wizard to get anything of actual value. But what if there were tools specifically built to leveraging AI in a way that directly helps you make better content and grow faster on social? Luckily, that tool now exists and that's what we're covering today. So let's get right into it. So this right here is the tool that's gonna help you come up with incredibly creative content ideas and turn those ideas into actual actual content in the shortest time possible. And the tool is called the planner and it's built within Flick. So within this tool, you're gonna be able to use AI to come up with specific ideas for your content, write the captions for that content, and then schedule that content all from one place within Flick. And we're gonna walk through exactly how to use this. It's incredibly easy. So the first place to start is with brainstorming your ideas. And to do that, you guessed it, you click brainstorm ideas. So click this right here, and it's gonna bring you into our idea tool. And within here, there are three steps you have to go through. So the first is to enter a search topic or a high level content Theme. Then with the theme that you've provided, the tool is then gonna build creative routes that you can go down to come up with specific post ideas, which the tool will also provide to you that you can then turn into actual content. And then you can take the idea right from the planner tool and schedule it within Flick in a matter of seconds. So first, let's start with a search topic or a high level content theme. Here are some very loose examples of things that you could type in as your search topic. Remote working in Portugal, selling couples massages for Valentine's Day, or winter gardening tips. This is gonna be completely specific to you and what you're focusing on right now. But for the example of this video, let's pretend that I am a yogi or a yoga person, yoga instructor, whatever the proper terms are. Obviously I'm not, but we're pretending today. And so a big focus for my content this month is how people can use yoga to improve their flexibility. So that's the topic that I'm going to type in to the idea tool, how to improve flexibility with yoga. Then once I've typed that in, just click brainstorm ideas. The tool will then go to work for you, coming up with different creative routes that we can run with. It usually only takes a few seconds to populate these. And while you're waiting, there's some funny things that will pop up right here. And seconds later, we have four different creative routes that we can run with based on the content theme that we provided. So here you're gonna see dynamic stretching with yoga flow, breathing techniques for flexibility, partner stretches for flexibility, and relaxation for improved flexibility. So these are just general content routes that we can go with. So if we like the sounds of one of these, we can select it and the planner will then use that creative route to come up with specific post ideas. So you can see that the different routes will be targeting different kinds of people that you typically speak to with your content. So since I typed in a content theme that I was trying to target people that are fairly new to yoga or stretching, I wanna keep creative routes that align with that. But you can see right here, we're using this tool that you could take the same approach and speak to far more advanced or expert level people while still covering the same general content subject that I typed in initially, which was how to improve flexibility with yoga. But keeping on the theme of speaking to more novice people, I'm gonna select this one right here and partner stretches because people love doing things with a partner. It'll also mean shareable content because they can share it with who they would do it with. And I'm not gonna select these two routes for now. So I'll click no and no. And once you've selected the creative routes that you wanna go down and you want specific ideas for, you just click get post ideas. The tool is then gonna go to work coming up with specific ideas associated with the creative routes that we had selected. In a matter of seconds, there's gonna be four specific post ideas for each creative route, which you can see right here. You can go through and select these, or if you want completely new ones, you can click replace all, or if you wanna see some more, you can click add four more, and that's for any of the routes that you had selected. So let's walk through the process for one specific post. I really like 10 minute morning yoga routine for increased flexibility. I think that's gonna be very shareable and actionable, which people are going to save it and use it. I think it's a great piece of content for my focus for content this month. So I'm gonna select this, and once I have the ideas that I want selected, I can then click add to planner. So now you can see my idea right here. If I had any more selected, they would also show up here. And you can see the kind of topic that's associated with it, the creative route, and then when it was created. So from here, the next step is to open this up. And then here's the post idea and the planner tool will then use this idea and the customization that we give it to write a specific caption for this content. So it's doing the majority of the heavy lifting for us. So we have some options here. I can choose the caption to either be long, medium, or short. I typically like medium caption, so I'll select that. And then down here, there's a brand voice section. So you can choose to write in either first, second, or third person. I like writing in first person. And then you can select a writing style. So I'm gonna go with conversational. That's my favorite, but you can choose narrative, analytical, or informative. And then finally, you can choose to speak in either informal or formal voice. I like informal and then just click generate caption. So the tool then takes the idea that you've selected as well as the customization for the brand voice and it's going to come up with a specific caption for that content. If I completely don't like this caption, I can click regenerate and it will give me a full new one. And I can also come in here and adjust anything that I want about the caption to get it how I want it to be. So let's say I didn't love this. I'll click regenerate. So you can adjust the spacing. You could add emojis in here. 
I'll throw in a sun and I can then customize this however I feel. So after working on this, if you decide that you don't want it anymore, you can delete this or you can add it directly to your scheduler. So let's do that right now. I'll click add to scheduler and then you can see that the idea has been sent to scheduler. So let's open that up. So that's going to bring you over to your scheduler and show you all of the ideas that you've gone through the process for in the past. So as you can see right here, that's the idea that I had just gone through with you. So if I click this, I can then schedule out a piece of content with all the details that I had used from the planner and bring it right over to the scheduler to then actually get content to go out there. So I can then use this. I can schedule to Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, customize the posts so they show up the way that I want. And then I can add the media for that piece of content. So whether it's a video that I created based off of this outline or script, or if I created an infographic or a carousel, you can add the media directly to the post. And there's two ways to do that. If I've already uploaded it to my media library within Flick, it'll be accessible here. And if not, I can just upload the files specific to this piece of content, select whatever I need, and then open it up and add it to that post. Then after you've done that, you can select a date where you want it to go live on the platforms that you've selected. And just like that, I got a very creative idea, turned it into a specific piece of content, which all I have to do from there is execute the idea or the script into a video or a graphic or photo to go along with the caption. But the heavy lifting was done from the planning tool and it will now be so much easier to come up with different content ideas based on the focuses that you have for a specific month or who you're trying to attract to your page with the right content. That's the planner tool that is built within Flick and it is currently within beta. If you want to give it a try for yourself, you can do so completely for free by using the link in the description box of this video. Using that will get you a free week trial for the planner as well as Flick's other services so that you can get a feel for the whole ecosystem to see how you can save as much time as possible and get more amazing content out there with less effort and in less time. So in a matter of minutes with the planner tool, we came up with a ton of different creative ideas or approaches to content. We then turned those approaches into specific ideas, wrote out the caption or the outline for that content, and then scheduled it out in a matter of minutes. Leaving the only thing for you to do is to create the media for it, which should be either a simple video you can execute or make the graphics in something like Canva. But you can use this again and again to come up with more creative subjects and topics and approaches to the kind of content that you're creating on a consistent basis to stay fresh and to attract more of the right people consistently in far less time and with far less effort. That is the total vision with the planner tool and we're pretty excited with what we've created. And even with how awesome this tool already is, it's only gonna continue to get better. So definitely give it a try. We know you're gonna love it and we'd love to hear your feedback as well. So use that link down below to get yourself that free week and let us know any questions, comments, or concerns that you have within the comment section of this video. So now that you can pump out way more content with the planner tool, you wanna make sure that you're in Instagram's good books and they're actually promoting your content within their algorithm. So check out this video right here where I walk through how you can hack the algorithm to really get it to work for you and bring the right people to your content. So check this video out right here. You're going to love it. We'll help you blow up on IG. I'll see you over there. Peace.